Chapter 5. Science Technology and Society. The Technology and Human Development. The Learning Objectives. First, describe the basic concept of human development. Second, discuss the technology for human development. Describe the basic concept of human development. The term human development may be defined as an expansion of human capabilities, a widening of choices, an enhancement of freedom, and a fulfillment of human rights. At the beginning, the notion of human development incorporates the need for income expansion. However, income growth should consider expansion of human capabilities. Hence development cannot be equated solely to income expansion. The basic objective of development is to create an enabling environment for people to enjoy long, healthy and creative lives. Economic growth. Economic growth is an increase in the capacity of an economy to produce goods and services, compared from one period of time to another. Objectives of human development. In the traditional development economics, development meant growth of per capita real income. Later on, a wider definition of development came to be assigned that focused on distributional objectives. Economic development, in other words, came to be redefined in terms of reduction or elimination of poverty and inequality. These are, after all, a goods-oriented view of development. True development has to be people-centered. When development is defined in terms of human welfare it means that people are put first. This people-oriented view of development is to be called human development. Components of human development. There are some components of human development, such as, equality, sustainability, productivity, empowerment, equality. Equality if development is viewed in terms of enhancing people's basic capabilities, people must enjoy equitable access to opportunities. To ensure equality-related capabilities or access to opportunities what is essential is that the societal institutional structure needs to be more favorable or progressive. The unfavorable initial asset distribution, like land, can be made more farmer-friendly through land reform and other redistributive measures. In addition, uneven income distribution may be addressed through various tax expenditure policies. Economic or legislative measures that interferes with market exchange may enable people to enlarge their capabilities and, hence, well-being. Equality is the state of being equal, especially in status, rights, and opportunities. Sustainability. The concept of sustainable development focuses on the need to maintain the long-term protective capacity of the biosphere. This then suggests that growth cannot go on indefinitely, there are, of course, limits to growth. Another important of human development is that development should keep going, should last long. Sustainability is the ability to exist constantly. Productivity. Another component of human development is productivity which requires investment in people. This is commonly called investment in human capital. Investment in human. The improvement in the quality of human resources raises the productivity of existing resources. Productivity describes various measures of the efficiency of production. Human capital. Human capital is a term popularized by Gary Becker, an economist from the University of Chicago, and Jacob Mincer that refers to the stock of knowledge, habits, social and personality attributes in the ability to perform labor so as to produce economic value. Empowerment. The empowerment of people, particularly women, is another component of human development. In other words, genuine human development requires empowerment in all aspects of life. Empowerment implies a political democracy in which people themselves make the decisions about their lives. Under it, people enjoy greater political and civil liberties and remain free from excessive controls and regulations. Empowerment refers to decentralization of power so that the benefits of governance are reaped by all peoples. Empowerment is the degree of autonomy and self-determination in people and in communities. The future of human development. Theories of human development are constantly changing. Perhaps human societies and our interactions with the world itself are developing, getting progressively more complex over time. There are growing concerns about human influences on the world's climate, and the likelihood of adverse changes on human societies from scarcity of water and food shortages to rising sea levels and increasingly destructive storms and floods. 
This paints a very different background, perhaps, to the more optimistic views of human development created by theorists from affluent societies excited, as many were, by new, modern technologies such as electricity, cars, telephones and computers. We believe that humans can make a difference, intentionally, rather than letting, development, happen. We believe that how you treat your children, yourself and your clients, parents, partners, patients and students will make a difference to how we all will go on in life. Development is a serious matter. While we may seem to have been paying a lot of attention to the big picture, it is also important to notice that the big picture is made up of many sounds, made by different sources. What you do does make a difference to how others go on. Your own action might be a small voice speaking, but many voices together can make quite a roar. Technology for human development. Balanced and sustainable development implies an environment and prerequisites for human development, which is measured not only by income levels but also factors such as the opportunity to live a long and healthy life, acquire knowledge, access resources required for a decent life and participate in society. In a wider sense, the term, human development, embraces all aspects of personal development, ranging from health to economic and political liberties. Society has come to understand that human development is an end to which economic growth, education, medicine and a good environment are the means. New technologies, in turn, are a recognized tool for economic, educational, healthcare, environmental and democratic development, as well as overall human development. Technology in human life. Science and technology has improved many different fields such as medicine, education, business, communication, and transportation. Science and technology has improved our way of life for the better of mankind. How science and technology affects human life. Science and technology makes our lives simpler. Works can be done easier through high-tech machines and equipments. It gives less work for humans and our job can be done faster. It makes us feel comfortable and easy to live. It also helps us organize our daily activities. Nowadays, computer is the most useful and popular invention to every people. Some may say that they cannot do anything without a computer. Some believe it is a sort of enjoyment. Well, in fact it is true because computer makes life more enjoyable and through this, we may be able to discover and explore new things. Using computer is like an adventure. It provides us all the information and is used to solve mathematical calculations. Digital society is a collaboration between researchers, organizations, companies and students. We identify, work with and solve grand challenges. A digital society is an interdisciplinary research area and a kind of progressive society that has been formed as a result of adaptation as well as integration of advanced technologies into the society and culture. Impact of digital technology on human life. Digital technology and its increasing prevalence have impacted human life radically in the last few decades. From the advent of the digital society, digital technology and computing have worked their way into more areas of life, from communications to finance to social interaction. You can see the impact daily in homes, schools and offices. Internet. The internet has brought an almost infinite amount of information right into your home and workplace. Increasingly, this information is also available to you while you are on the road as well. As a result, you have access to massive amounts of human knowledge in the time it takes to download a web page. Internet is a global computer network providing a variety of information and communication facilities, consisting of interconnected networks using standardized communication protocols. Communication. The ability to compress millions of transistors onto a chip the size of a fingernail has allowed the advent of portable cellular communications. Cell phones, not so long ago a luxury, are now ubiquitous, and some people use them to the exclusion of traditional landline telephones. Communication. The imparting or exchanging of information or news. Social. Social networking, using applications such as MySpace and Facebook, can put people in touch with each other in ways that could not have been imaged prior to digital technology. The speed and reach of contacts you can make and maintain means that everyone is findable and reachable with a quick search engine query and an email. 
This means you can keep up with friends that live half a globe away with ease and also means being contacted by persons you thought you might never see again. The impact of technology on our lives. Technology has played a big role in the development of various industries, it has changed the banking sector, changed education, changed the agricultural industry, changed the entertainment world, and it has restructured many businesses. The impacts of technology cannot be measured because it is still changing the way we do everything. However technology also has some negative impacts. Some of the impacts of technology in our lives both in a positive way and negative way. Impact of technology on education. Technology is a gift of God. After the gift of life it is perhaps the greatest of God's gifts. It is the mother of civilizations, of arts and of sciences. The combination of education and technology has been considered the main key to human progress. Education feeds technology which in turn forms the basis of education. Technology has certainly changed the way we live. It has impacted different facets of life and redefined living. Undoubtedly, technology plays an important role in every sphere of life. Several mundane manual tasks can be automated, thanks to technology. Also, many complex and critical processes can be carried out with ease and greater efficiency with the help of modern technology. 5 Positive Effects of Technology on Education Research Globalization Educational Games Distance Education Web Seminars NIGATIVE Impact Effects of Technology on Education Exposure to wrong data, though technology has made learning so easy and cheap, students get exposed to data which is not approved and many times they just copy and pastes this information they acquire online without any deep research on whether the data is correct. This has increased on the level of misinformation and failure of exams. My advice to students, is that, not whatever is published online is correct, analyze the data and discuss with friends before submitting that data. Impact of technology on society. Positive impact. Improved the transportation sector, technology has made movement so easy and cheap, technologies like automobiles, airplanes, speedboats, electronic trains, have made moving from one place to another so easily. Improved on human relationships and connection, technology has improved on how we connect or discover new relationships. With things like mobile phones, and internet social medias, people can connect with each so easily than before. Negative impact. Digital divide is on increase, as much as we are embracing technology in most developed countries, there is a big group left behind and they might not even get closer to the way we use technology in the first world. Lack of real life and friends, yes, social networks and text messaging technologies have played a very big role in connecting people more than before, but what is funny is that, the number of people who spend time alone is increasing. You will find a person spends more time in the virtual world chatting with strangers. Impact of technology on agriculture. Positive impact. Increased production, with the introduction of genetically engineered crops, farmers outputs have increased. These crops are engineered when they can stand harsh conditions as well as survive pests and diseases. They grow very fast and the farmer gets back their return on investment Rio, very first. Impact of technology on agriculture. Negative impact. Soil pollution, farmers have resorted to using chemicals and engineered fertilizers so that their plants grow faster. This has worked for the farmer in the short run, but after a while, the soil losses its natural fertility and the farmer will have to depend on artificial fertilizers which are expensive in the long run. Impact of technology on banking. Positive impact. Electronic banking, banks have improved their services by using technology to introduce electronic banking. Customers can use online banking facilities to transfer money or get financial information, they can also use smart cards to withdraw or deposit money on their accounts. Dot. Negative. E-cash is very easy to lose, as we try to replace cash money with e-cash, we are faced with a problem of losing money very first. Why? E-cash is simply an electronic file, so this file can be interrupted across the network and you will lose your money in a second. Today there are so many hackers online monitoring these electronic file transfers, though most merchants have formulated a trick of encrypting the files, but still these hackers find their way and access the data. Dot. 
Impact of technology on business. Business technology has revolutionized the way companies conduct business. Small businesses can implement business technology and level the playing field with larger organizations. Small businesses use computers, servers, websites and personal digital products to develop competitive advantages in the economic marketplace. Small business owners should consider implementing technology in their planning process. This allows owners to create operations using the best technology available. Essential concepts. Human development is a concept within the field of international development. It involves studies of the human condition with its core being the capability approach. The term human development may be defined as an expansion of human capabilities, a widening of choices, an enhancement of freedom, and a fulfillment of human rights. The concept of sustainable development focuses on the need to maintain the long-term protective capacity of the biosphere. This then suggests that growth cannot go on indefinitely, there are, of course, limits to growth. The empowerment of people, particularly women, is another component of human development. In other words, genuine human development requires empowerment in all aspects of life. Empowerment implies a political democracy in which people themselves make the decisions about their lives. Education of women can lead to a virtuous circle of lower fertility, better care of children, more educational opportunity, and higher productivity. A person's environment, physical and mental health, education, recreation, social well-being, freedom, human rights and happiness also are significant factors. Human capital is the economic value that an employee provides to an employer. The assessment of this value is related to the body of skill, knowledge, and experience that the employee possesses. Investing in skills is far less costly, in the long run, than paying the price of poorer health, lower incomes, unemployment and social exclusion, all of which are closely tied to lower skills. Workplace training also facilitates recruitment by allowing employers and potential employees to get to know each other, while trainees contribute to the output of the training firm and earn some income. Human rights are rights inherent to all human beings, whatever our nationality, place of residence, sex, national or ethnic origin, color, religion, language, or any other status. The obligation to respect means that states must refrain from interfering with or curtailing the enjoyment of human rights. Society has come to understand that human development is an end to which economic growth, education, medicine and a good environment are the means. Thank you.